Hello, my name is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a user created quiz. So let's get to it. Now, just about every screen that you have, you'll see in the top middle portion four icons, and those are from left to right the equity calculator, the hand creation chart icon, the ICM calculator, and the quiz generator. So, in order to create a quiz, we first have to create a hand chart. So we'll click on the hand chart icon. And depending on what kind of quiz I want to do, if I want to do just an open raising range or a mixture of calls and raises or three bets or four bets and so on, I use these buttons at the bottom to select hands. So if I was going to create, for example, let's say an open raising range from the button, I click on button as my position, click on raise, and then add whatever hands I would want to add there. And I can use the slider here just to um, slide over an overall percentage of my range and edit as I see fit. Can reset my form down here. If I wanted to create a mixture of a three bet and say um, calling range um, from the button, I would select my three bet. So I have that highlighted, I'd select which hands I want to 3-bet from the button, and then add in some calling hands, let's just say, just as a simple example. And now when I go back and I save this and I run it in the test, it'll create a bunch of hands that are somewhat random within this range block here, and it'll look for hands where I call or I 3-bet. And so you can, again, you can expand that out, make four bets, just raises. I'm going to do an example of a six max cash game on open raising range from under the gun. So as you can see here, six max first position is low jack. So we have all our positions here from left to right. In a six max cash game, this low jack would essentially be under the gun hijack, cutoff button, small blind, big blind. If I'm in a traditional uh, nine-handed table, it would start with under the gun plus one, um, and 10-handed, then we add the extra position under the gun. So, so you select which uh, position you want to create a test for, and you can create for multiple um, positions and do a mixture of these hands uh, all at once, three bets, calls, so on. Um, just to simplify this test, I'm going to do an open raising range from low jack. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to click on push raise. I'm just going to slide my slider here so I have, um, let's say, roughly around 13%. I'll edit some of these hands. Just remove them. Add a few others. Do something to this effect, around 12%. I'll click Save. I'm going to say six max raise first end under the gun test. I save that. And now I'm going to go in to the test and I'll show you how to load that right now. So we created the quiz. Now we're going to go and actually play the quiz. So we select on the quiz generator. Now I'm going to select six max my six max raise first end under the gun test. Click on that. Down at the bottom right, you can select the number of questions you want to run for this test. So I'm going to set it to 10. That's the minimum and click start. And now I'm going to get a bunch of questions that'll just be under the gun. It'll give me a random set of hands that are within that range and include my hands. So here I did this as fold. Now I click deal. Fold, deal, fold, so on, raise, so on. So it'll continue to uh, generate several different questions. And like I said, you can modify that. You can set it for um, full ring for right now and six max. And it'll expand this eventually to heads up and some other hands. But the first step is creating the hand chart, 
Once you do that, then you can just load it into the quiz generator. And this is just good for drilling in certain spots, like if you want to practice um, what your uh, defense range should be from the small blind or big blind or just one of those positions or both or whatever, you can set that up and you can get some feedback and kind of drill those tests in for you. So um, this is great for anyone, obviously, especially beginners, but just anyone if you want to brush up on your skills. So that's how to do it. And if you have any questions, as always, contact support at support at acepokersolutions.com.